We have been dedicating this whole day to our Save Our Sauce campaign, highlighting the current staffing shortages facing restaurants and even taking you inside to see what it's like to run a restaurant. We looked at the future of East 4th Street and new businesses to look forward to, all in hopes of helping the industry bounce back. Now, you can still help by scanning the QR code you see there on the bottom left of your screen. There is, uh, that's where you're going to find the link to donate and even find job listings. As for what's next in the industry, once again, doing double duty tonight, here's Will Uick. The restaurant industry is the second largest employer in the country and the second largest in Ohio. It was the first industry to be shut down in the pandemic and one of the last to open. So when it went down, the rest of the country kind of came with it. You'd have to go all the way back, really, almost to the World Wars, you know, or um, maybe even the Great Depression, you know, to, to have anything uh, that would feel like this for such an extended period of time. Ohio lost 3,000 restaurants in the last year and a half. And looking at today, the ones still standing are barely keeping their balance. I should say that I probably was doing my share of complaining for three days in a row when I had to be our dishwasher because I scheduled for three different dishwashers to show up and none of them showed up. But the Ohio Restaurant Association is giving them something to lean on. Coming later this summer, the Employee Relief Fund will expand to be a permanent fund to continue helping restaurants still in a time of need. The comeback, the, the complete recovery for this industry, we predict will be deep into 2022. In some cases, depending what your situation is and how much federal or state support you get, it could take all the way to 2023. Holding on from 14 months in the red, despite the temporary relief funds put in place by Congress. And that's why the Restaurant Association is also lobbying Congress with the support of Senator Sherrod Brown and Rob Portman to bring that money back as well. You know what the industry lost? $290 billion in sales. So that was about 10% that was allocated for that. Um, that money, as soon as the applications came open, was gone like in a blink. And uh, we're asking Congress to consider uh, replenishing that up to about $60 billion. Money that will not only put food in our mouths and on employees' tables, but bring life back into our city. I think that the more restaurants you have, the more reason you have people to come downtown. When you think about the NFL draft, right, when we were able to get that in Cleveland and how cool that was, right, to have that in our city. Think about, you know, Playhouse Square and getting that going again, right, and getting people going back to museums and you know, our art galleries and, and walking through our neighborhoods, right, and restaurants are right in the middle of that. Now we're trying to breathe that life back into them. Will Uick, 3 News.